It's award season. It's like crazy. I know, it's great. E.T. No. is busy. Kevin is busy. And E.T. is celebrating a milestone of 10,000 episodes. Wow. From 1981 crazy. to 2020. That's 39 years. The That's show is being honored by the Guinness World Records this Friday. So tonight, Kevin Frazier looks back at his very first interview, his first assignment. Wow. That's hilarious. And also his most memorable moments since he joined the show. Now, normally in my job, just like you, I report the news, but this time we're making it. E.T. is hitting a major milestone with our 10,000th episode, so I wanted to take a quick step back and remember some of my favorite moments from this incredible journey at E.T. Hey, Kevin, what's, what's up, man? How are you? Oh, nice to see you. So How are you doing? My first big shoots for entertainment tonight was I went to the set of King of Queens, and all of a sudden, Leah Remini looks at me, and she jumps across and hops on top of me. <laughs> And I'm thinking, like, what in the world is going on? What's happening? Am I about to lose my job today? <laughs> One of my most memorable E.T. shoots was when I visited New Orleans with Brad Pitt. Oh, that's where the levee broke. Right over there. Right on the other side of this house. He was building eco-friendly houses for the victims of Hurricane Katrina, and one of those families was so thankful for his help. As he said, I just want to get back in my home. God bless Brad Pitt. I've had a chance to see not just Will Smith be a star, but the people he's helped behind the scenes. Getting to see Kevin Hart raise up and become this massive star. I am the first time that there has ever been an African-American host of a television show like this. So I, every day when I come here, I keep a picture of my grandfather because it would have meant the world to him to see this. Entertainment Tonight, it's the gold standard. We continue to be the people who get inside the door. We talk to the biggest stars. We're at the biggest premieres. E.T. will always be here. Tonight on E.T. is our very special 10,000th episode. We're looking back at each decade starting in the 80s with the stars before they were stars. You do not want to miss this. I'm Kevin Frazier. Back to you. Check out That's Entertainment awesome. Tonight's Milestone episode at 7.30 right here on WSA 9. But mm -hmm. a huge congrats yeah. to all of you. And, you know, Kevin's from here. Yes. From yes. Columbia. He used to work in Baltimore. Um, I remember I covered the Super Bowl in New Orleans when the Ravens were there. Yes. And it was the Beyonce mm -hmm. year. And it was when they were wondering if she actually sang at the inauguration. Oh, she right. She stepped up to the mic and just sang a cappella, the national anthem. And my old boss in Baltimore introduced me to Kevin, and he could not have been nicer, kinder, He's but you so can see the joy that he has in his job and how yeah. much he loves it. And I think that yeah. speaks for everybody in entertainment tonight, the success that they've had on this show. And how the logo has changed over the years. That was yeah, funny. Yeah, it flipped through. Yeah. But just to make that milestone, 39 years, I mean. It's incredible. It's I incredible. mean, they don't have, shows don't make it that long anymore. You get a few seasons or, right. you know, and that's it. Staying power. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be tuning in tonight, you as well. 10,000th episode. We'll be right back after this break.